Well, hello, Cram Stuffers. Oh my goodness, so much to talk about. <sighs> Hurricane uh, Lane passed southwest of us, uh, as predicted. Well, it passed from southeast to the west and uh, did not hit us uh, directly, but we sure got the effects. Holy crap, did we get some effects. We got uh, rain. I didn't get the wind. I knew we weren't going to get that. And we had this bullshit story that it was going to dog leg up and run into us and run over Maui and run over the, you know, okay. Uh, the moisture sure did, but the hurricane didn't do it. Fortunately, the eye of the hurricane stayed south of us. Uh, it is now heading, it, you know, it's past Kauai now. It is uh, southwest of us, and uh, we have cloudy skies, you know, rain, but we dodged a bullet uh, overall. If we had taken a direct hit, I'd have dead friends right now um, because people don't understand that uh, hurricane preparedness does not mean <laughs> buy water and toilet paper. Um the idea is that uh, you need to move your car. You need to you need to have an evacuation plan, especially if you live by a stream. Oh my God! Um, locally heavy downpours uh, cause certain places to have just crazy amounts of water come down and erosion. And uh, some roads that were poorly engineered, uh, that weren't designed for rainfall that we've had. I mean, this was the most rain we've had since like the 1950s, like the third most rain uh, amount of rain in that short period of time since the 1950s. Um, I think Iniki was the other one, uh, this one, and I don't know what the other one was, but I mean, top three, we had rain. Like I said, we were going to get wet. We didn't get the wind, we didn't get the wind, but we're going to get wet. This next one has a track to run on. So we have, uh, it's following a magnetic signature that, uh, the other hurricane left and, uh, it does, it can deviate from that path. And I am more concerned that this thing is going to pick up steam, uh, be as big or bigger than, uh, Lane and, uh, get closer to the state of Hawaii. And uh, that is of concern. Um, so prepare. Always be prepared. All these preppers that people make fun of. Me and my friends, we weren't concerned. We weren't running down to the store because we got water. We got <laughs> toilet paper. We got provisions stored. We got, I got a uh, straw. What is it? A, I can't remember what they call it. The miracle straw or whatever for, for uh, sucking water uh, right out of a mud puddle if you wanted to. Um, but it's a, you know, fresh water. Hugely important. Um uh, solar chargers right those right doesn't seem so crazy now to people uh we managed to dodge this bullet but you should be prepared in case we don't that's just natural candles and flashlights and all that kind of stuff and understanding that uh you need to be able to cook without electricity and flush toilets uh, if your local water supply uh you know the pipe doesn't bring you water then you better be able to put some water in your damn toilet uh disease is one of the major things that happens when we have major power and water outages still to this day, which reminds me, medicine and other things need to be stored. Um, anyway, <sighs> and see, it's a karmic cleanup for everybody. Those that need the karma and understand, you, you got to get to the, I don't even want to talk about it. We'll just forget that because I get, like I said, I don't even understand how karma works, but I do understand that, uh, uh, that these and see, it could be good karma and bad karma. You might get to shelter a friend. You might get to have the opportunity to help somebody else out. On the other hand, you might be the person that needs the help. You might be the person that gets the stuff destroyed. You might be... The karma is an interesting thing. Um, but anyway, uh, things are heating up, as it were. Um, and we have... Uh, now, I hope you understand that the... Things are changing. This is uh, this is a great allegory for change. Uh, hurricanes bring change, uh, and there is a storm coming. Uh, they talk about the storm. See, oh, see, I'm like transitioning into this. Uh, anyway, I used to be in radio, you know. Uh, anyway, that's called a segue. Uh, anyway, the idea is that uh, no, the storm is here. The storm, the pin has been pulled, and uh, be prepared uh, for the financial storm that comes. I used to talk all about this, but uh, it's coming. Uh, back in the days of subprime, I told you that there would be contagion when everybody was telling you there's not, there's not going to be any contagion, it's just a subprime market. No, it almost brought the whole thing down. Uh, they can't paper over again. Uh, and that's the thing. This thing right here is coming to an end. This is part of the way they enslave us. So it has to come to an end. Uh, sound money is coming. Justice is coming. Can you see the pedophiles being arrested? Can you? See, I mean, they're everywhere. Can you? And, and see, we outnumber them 100 to 1. But what they've done is infiltrate the important positions, the police forces and judiciary and state and local governments, federal governments, churches, the church. 
uh, has been basically infiltrated by the bad guys. Uh, the Pope is in serious trouble. Oh, the and see, now that Trump is in office, can you see why they hate him? The American ambassador to the Vatican comes back and blows the whistle, saying that Pope Francis knew all about this. He knew about these pedophiles. He knew. Of course he knew. Uh, there are child traffickers, traffickers on our southern border. John McCain was one of them. Uh, in order to get uh, traffic from the southern border through Arizona and to D.C. or Hollywood, where the children are, the children are in demand. Many uh, wheels need to be greased. Bribes, corruption. Uh, not everybody, just a few, to make sure that the traffic flows. Understand, to them, it's just traffic, slave trade, just traffic. You can do it legally, or you can do it illegally. Uh, legally. Uh, you know, they're not slaves, they're prisoners of jobs. Illegally, um, they're undocumented completely from birth to death. Or, well, maybe they get their birth documented, but their deaths are not documented, and the way they are disposed of is not documented. Um, and then in New Mexico, uh, in even NBC News, mysterious. They can't believe that uh, all the evidence would be bulldozed by the authorities. And, and as I said, these people are fiercely religious. Right? Killed his firstborn child. You do not understand the words fiercely religious when I say them to you. Um, I mean, these people are fanatics. They're insane. They sacrifice children. They drink adrenochrome. They are insane. Uh, and they need to be stopped. And they need to be exposed. And uh, it needs to come to an end. Uh, now that uh, we have woken up. See, they look at us literally. They look at us like animals. They look at us like animals that can talk. That's... The way they think, get over it. That's the way they think of us. Like cattle. If your cattle could talk to you, or your bacon could talk to you, that's the way they look at us. And it's not, they're not huge numbers of them. They're not millions and millions of them. There are thousands of them. And uh, what they have figured out is how to enslave entire nations, entire planets, using Babylonian money magic, if you want to, that's where it pretty much first came up, but the paper money. They changed from sound money to paper anybody that got in their way was removed. Now justice is coming the other way. Right? And let me explain to you. Left-hand path, those who harm children. Right-hand path, those who nurture children. It's that easy. Pick a side. Now, uh, the, like I said, and these rabbit holes go down so damn deep, it's crazy. So never mind aliens, never mind all this other crap and disclosure and so forth. Just understand traffic. The idea that the slave trade is lucrative. The idea that, and then you, when you then you figure out who they're selling the children to. Oh, satanic pedophiles. Oh, why? Because they worship Moloch. Oh, because they worship Satan. Oh, because they worship Baal. Oh, because they worship <sighs> Saturn. All of whom demand child sacrifice. They're still among us. Are they huge numbers? No, they're not. In, you know, in the scheme of things where there's billions of us, there's not even millions of them. There are thousands of them. And they are parasites that have been living off of us. And they have been doing this for generations untold. And they are now about to be exposed and mopped up. Uh... And what they're doing is showing you a fun kabuki theater to explain it to you. Uh, Sessions and Trump. It's like I, I go back and forth on Sessions, but no. Sessions understands that the first rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. The second rule of Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. Uh, the third rule of Fight Club, see rules one and two. Uh, and they're putting on a great theater show where, anyway, you'll see. Um, 45,000 indictments coming. Uh, spoiler, the good guys win, uh, but they don't give up without a fight. Uh, spoiler, uh, they also put on a show where it makes it look like Trump is in trouble and it's about to be, oh no, and no. Um, we have change coming our way, and the change that you wanted, and the uh, fact that justice is coming, uh, understand, justice is indeed coming, uh, so you had better be prepared for when this justice comes, because paper is gonna be worthless and gold and silver will be part of this justice. Precious metals will be precious once again and money will be sound and fair. Um, and demons will be held to account. However you wanna look at it, however you wanna call it, whatever your perception or paradigm is, uh, these people who harm and rape children and who traffic drugs and guns and 
make war and pestilence and famine and poverty on this planet are going to be held to account. Justice is coming. Now, when that justice comes, it isn't going to be an easy transition because, like it or not, you like the system that we have right now. Uh, but soon, that system is going to change. And when change comes, it is always difficult. Uh, and this is radical change I'm talking about. I'm not talking about Mr. Hopi Changey Pants, uh, Obama, who was absolutely aware of the slave trade, as was uh, Bush and Clinton before him. Um, and they got involved and benefited and profited mightily off of this. Uh, and it's just traffic. It's just traffic. They look at it like that, that it's just traffic. Something they do to make money. It's their thing. Some of those that have their thing uh, don't involve children. And in fact, they, they really don't like the children. But that doesn't make them, or don't like uh, harming children. Uh, but that doesn't mean they're on the right-hand path, particularly. Uh, but sometimes their thing involves drugs. Sometimes their thing involves guns. Sometimes it's war. Uh, the war always leads to uh, back to children being trafficked because uh, that leads to orphans, and orphans are easily taken advantage of. They have made money. All wars for the last, since 1913, have been banker wars, and previous to that too. But in this last century, oh my God, these men are waking up though. Uh, this is good because the Great Awakening is happening. They have figured out that this is just organized murder you know, with really excellent toys to effectuate the organized murder because at the end of the day the guy that you're murdering or is trying to murder you uh, they've got kids and a wife and they just want to be left alone to raise their kids the way they see fit and maybe a party on the weekend just like you you have ever so much more in common with the people around the world than the oligarchs that send you off to fight wars or your sons and daughters or your sisters and brothers or your friends and relations the oligarchs don't give a fuck about us the, the deep state, these others that uh, you want to talk about, you want to talk about long skulls, you want to talk about aliens, whatever, however your paradigm perceives them, there are those that prey on the masses. And uh, this should be obvious. All you have to do is look around. Now, uh, there is war. There is pestilence. There is famine. There is also great things going on. There is also, you know, abundance. And, and uh, you know, it's not all doom and gloom. And uh, we can return to a planet, oh, uh, spoiler alert, also a really bad idea to be living on the surface of a planet. Have you not figured that out yet, my friends? That uh, living on the surface, and worse yet, we build our cities close to oceans, right? Where the man, when the land meets the ocean, this is exactly not where you want to put a nuclear power plant. Um, because that's where, that's one of the signs for change. When one element is butt up against another. And then what's the other element that's above both land and water? Air. And uh, we're finding out that that air can be rather destructive yeah, firsthand here in Hawaii. Again, every year, once a year, we're reminded. And so can the water. Uh, so maybe uh, the surface is not the best place to be. But, uh, and we have more than enough technology to make, uh, we can live any, literally anywhere now. And some of us have, cho have chosen to do so. Uh, anyhow, uh, the rabbit holes are deep. The bad guys are losing. The Kabuki theater is full on. The pin has been pulled. Uh, the financial system is about to change. Um, the perception of them is about to change. Uh, we're about to wake up, uh, and more and more people are waking up. And the more people that wake up, uh, the more people can see that, oh, this isn't con crazy conspiracy theory anymore, is it? Um, the Twin Towers came down. Those were nukes. That was a nuclear device twice. Uh, and then just regular old, plain old, controlled demolition on WTC7. Um, and those people are going to be held to account. All, I, you, you're going to be amazed. that uh, and See, and it's not millions and millions of them. It's thousands and thousands of them. But in order to get just the thousands and thousands here in the United States rounded up, uh, that's going to be a monumental task. Uh, the Pope and the Vatican are coming down even as we speak. Uh which is going to lead to the fact that uh, the British crown, another center of uh, naughtiness. Uh, and we've got, I mean, the, the guy that was covering up for Jimmy Seville and some of the uh, Saville and some of the prime ministers and other higher ups in the uh, UK that were involved in pedophilia. And it was clear that they were involved in pedophilia. And guess what? They're involved in pedophilia in almost all the governments all the way around the world. In fact, I can't think of one that's not. Um, 
off the top of my head. Uh, these puppets, these bastards, these rapers of children, justice is coming. Justice is coming for them. Now, this thing that you have been praying for, this thing that you have been wanting is coming. You had better be prepared for the ramifications of what comes. Sit back and think for a moment what happens. Do you think the financial system is going to remain the same? Do you think the social system is going to remain the same? Uh, things are changing here on planet Earth rapidly as uh, far as these things go, but it won't be so rapid that you don't notice the change. It won't be uh, one of those things where we transition from one monetary system to another easily and quickly with no harm, no foul. Uh, there's going to be a little while where you may not have uh, electricity or running water or uh, you know, credit may seize. You may not be able to go to a store and get stuff. Uh, this is a scenario. It is a worst case scenario, but it is a scenario. This is absolutely a possibility. Uh, it is not crazy talk. So you had better prepare for this eventuality. Um, hopefully, uh, we, because I know for a fact that they are trying desperately to make it so that the transition is smooth and the least amount of people get hurt. So uh, don't be one of the people that gets hurt. Be one of the people that they are uh, trying to, like, they're giving you gold and silver. It's a gift. It's it's free right now, practically. Oh my God, an ounce of silver under 15 bucks. Are you kidding me? Uh, it costs more than that to get out of the ground. Same thing, gold is cheaper than cheap. And when you consider how much money printing is about to happen, just get yourself a couple grams of gold and you're going to be happy. Um, and all it will do is preserve your wealth. You're not going to make money on this because uh, as the price of gold skyrockets, uh, you won't be able to, the paper, just like in Venezuela, won't buy much. You need, you know, there was a great picture where to buy one chicken, it, it, you needed more paper in volume. I mean, like this is a huge stack of paper next to the chicken. Uh, this is coming. Uh, this is the plan. This has always been the plan is to devalue the currency to pay off the debt. Uh, the bankers, like I said, there's not millions of them, there's thousands of them, and they are going to be held accountable. And what you can see happening with the Vatican and with the money system and with the Democrats and with the dismantling of the seventh floor back room, ugh, these bastards. Anyway, they looked the other way when they were given direct evidence of child trafficking, crimes against children did nothing when the New York Police Department handed it over to the FBI. Nothing was done. Are you telling me that these people should not be held to account? And see, this is what I mean. When we pray for peace and forgiveness uh, on the solstice and on the equinox, uh, this does not mean that we get them off the hook. I'm not some Illuminati apologist. We're in, they're not Illuminati. Damn it. They're not Illuminati. They did not create us. They are not superior to us in any way, shape, or form. They are not more enlightened. These people are evil and disgusting. And you need to forgive them in your heart so that they do not continue to deceive and uh, able to eat the lucre and so forth because they love it if you... Anyway, the idea is peace and forgiveness and love in your heart, but at the same time, they are held to account. These rapers of children, how dare you even intimate that I would be saying that we should let them off. These people need absolutely to be held to account. Those people who are complicit, the media who have thousands, where like hundreds and hundreds and two into the thousands of pedophiles have been arrested and they have recorded basically nothing. Although they have made apologies for Alephantis and others. I refuse to inform you of the fact that there has been treason committed, spying on a duly elected president, unfucking believable and calling him crazy in the media for pointing it out. The things that are coming, my friends, are going to be uh, fun to watch. The show is going to be awesome. They want Kabuki Theater, so they got themselves an actor. Best they could do. Ronald Reagan was an actor. This guy's a used to be a reality TV star. <sighs> so he's playing his part, and Jeff Sessions is playing his part, and everybody's you know, trying to explain it to these dim-witted individuals that just can't figure out that, yes, there is a child trafficking problem. Uh, yes, there is a slave trade. Yes, there are demons uh, being worshipped among us uh, by crazy people who are, in fact, pedophiles and who will take statues of Moloch and put them in the Arkansas state capitol. Uh, and then people will try to make it a joke. Like, oh, serves them right. They were The Christians were trying to uh, put up the Ten Commandments. Oh, God forbid. Uh, see what I did there? And uh, anyway... The idea is that uh, these people do in fact exist, and that was a hell of a big statue, and that didn't just get made yesterday. Um, 
which tells you that there are artists involved and there are others involved. I mean, think about just how much it takes to make a statue like that. And that's not the only statue of, of uh, Moloch we have. Uh, there's one in Detroit. There's others popping up here and there. It's a simple left-hand path, right-hand path choice. You guys can knock over southern generals and other statues down south, but you can't knock over a statue of Moloch. Tells you something right there, doesn't it? They get a press release for 2,300 pedophiles being arrested for making child porn and all this other stuff around the country. They actually get press re They don't tell you. They've had uh, unredacted uh, versions of the report or the information dossier, whatever you want to call it, they use to get the FISA warrants. And uh, they have propagandized you instead, instead of telling you the truth about what's happening. The media absolutely is complicit. And they know what's coming. Justice is coming, my friends. The storm is already here. Uh, you need to prepare for the storm. This is a perfect metaphor for this. Uh, we have another storm coming for Hawaii, which needs to be prepared for even more than the first. People were foolish and, uh, oh, there's a hurricane coming. I think I'll park my car under this tree. What the hell's wrong with you? Um, even if the winds aren't high, uh, branches fall in rainstorms. Uh, so park your car out in the open so that you have transpo. Uh, make sure you have food and water. Make sure you have an evacuation plan. Make sure you have friends and family that are high and dry that you might be able to stay with. Uh, because uh, many of the places uh, on this island and other islands that are built near streams and riverbeds and on floodplains uh, are going to suffer because the ground is already saturated and it will not dry up by the time this next hurricane comes. So, uh, and like I said, it has a track to run on. Uh, the storm is coming for all of us in many ways. Right? This is an allegory for one storm. There is another storm coming for these pedophiles. There is another financial storm brewing. Um, do your homework. Do some research. Wake the fuck up. It's coming. We're in the middle of it. Uh, they say that broken clock is right twice a day. Well, uh, about to be right because it is coming here. But understand, it's trillions of dollars into the quadrillions. I mean, it's hundreds of trillions of dollars. So it unwinding by this fall, I doubt it. Doubt it severely. It's going to unwind. And there is going to be contagion. And you, I mean, the fact that these currencies, Turkey and Argentina and South Africa and Brazil and, oh man, Russia and China also looking like it. The rupee doesn't look so, I mean, the we're the healthiest looking horse of the glue factory, but uh, it's, it's not looking good, folks. Um, and again, damn it, part of the plan to bring them, free us from their enslavement is to take this financial system and change it. When there is change, there will be sound money. There will be honest money that will be backed by something precious, precious metals. Uh, that's just one facet of what's coming our way. Um, the planet itself is moving into a standing wave that is charging up this planet, our sun, uh, all the other planets. Look at interplanetary ch planet change, climate change, sorry, Inter <laughs> interplanetary climate change. I've been talking for too long. Um, and I have been, I should stop already. But the idea is that, uh, no, it, big changes are coming. There are huge changes coming at all levels, spiritual, physical, right? So you had better prepare yourself spiritually, physically, mentally. Uh, you know, you, gotta, you better be ready for what comes because what you have, oh my God, it just sounded like Greg Hunter right there. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, anyway the, uh, it's coming. It's coming. Justice is coming. The storm is coming. You guys better be prepared. It's happening. Look around. Look at all alt media is pointing to the same thing. Uh, in fact, I should put, I could put post a. Uh, I don't believe those guys because, like I said, I don't think it's going to happen this fast. Just like I didn't think the, that last hurricane was going to make a landfall. I will tell you that uh, the numbers are so tremendous that these poor guys can't wrap their minds around numbers this big. It's not going to unwind as fast as they think. It is going to unwind. Uh, they are wrong, but true. It's coming. The pin has been pulled. Uh, if you take a look at some of the interest rates uh, for bonds in some of these emerging markets, oh my God. Um, and it's, it will be the last dog standing. Uh, we'll be the last horse of the glue factory, but we are at the glue factory. <laughs> so understand that it's, uh, it's uh, not far away. Uh, it is not years and years away anymore. It is months and months away. So uh, right now, while they're giving you a gift where silver and gold are super cheap and silver is cheaper than they can pull it out of the ground, perhaps you might want to take advantage of this gift. Um, and those that do not take advantage of the gift, well, uh, 
if you were not awake enough to understand what was coming, then you will suffer the consequences. Um, and it's just insurance because you know what might be the kind of guys because there are guys that are just laughing at this hurricane. Oh, no big deal, right? And there are other people that had you know cars, houses, uh, a lot of damage. Uh, we had a we had, <laughs> we had fire here, twenty one homes, thirty cars gone just like that in an instant. Um, that was a wildfire uh, during a hurricane. I mean, things are interesting here on Maui, um, and it you know it becomes clear. Uh, that there is change in the wind, uh, as above, so below. Um, but big change coming for all of us, and you need to prepare for the change that comes because there's no avoiding this. There's no getting out of the way. The only thing that can happen is they can try and soften the blow and make it so that, uh, but the change is coming. These people are going to be held to account. Justice is going to come. The hammer is going to fall. The hangman is going to, to be at the gallows soon enough. Uh, this is happening. It's not a joke. Uh, so prepare, damn it, and understand that, yes, this thing that you, many of you have been praying for and wanting to happen is happening. So you better sit back and take a look at the ramifications of if this happens and the people wake up to the fact, well, not if, when the people uh, wake up to the fact, uh, what happens? That, what happens next? And what happens after that? Now, is it going to be a happy, uh, yes, ding dong, the witch is dead. But at the same time, that transition is going to be a difficult transition for many. Because there are many that are hugely deceived. Hugely. And when they wake up to the fact, and they're doing it now, they're already doing it. You're seeing them just go, oh, shit. When they uh, bulldozed that camp in New Mexico, the authorities mysteriously, NBC, right? A lot of people went, What? Um, when the guy got off on, with a light sentence after murdering his own child and training others to commit school shootings, 20 grand. What? Um, but the, the fact is that the Pope is in serious hot water. Uh, many, in, I mean, Pennsylvania was one thing. There's more than that coming. That's just the beginning of it. Hollywood, that's the, the beginning of that. I mean, they can't shut people up. Uh, and Hollywood and the media is complicit to the core. And like I said, they know, they know what comes. It's coming, friends. So uh, if you want this thing to come, then expose more. If you want them to want it to come faster and sooner, then expose more. Uh, do your research. Uh, beware of the honeypots. Beware of the tricks and traps, uh, which they will inevitably, because they're not going down without a fight. And uh, they are very, very clever, but they are outgunned, outmaneuvered, and uh, their ship is sinking, and they know it. So they become desperate at the end there. When you back these people into a corner, um, they have no way out. They're going to get fierce. Uh, but it doesn't matter. There's not enough of them. Uh, we outnumber them so greatly, and that's what they fear. That's what they know. They know to keep us divided. They know divide and con conquer works. And uh, people are starting to wake up. And I can see the day coming when Americans uh, on both sides of the aisle uh, throw down their placards and <laughs> signs and, and uh, wake up to the fact that, oh, no, these satanic pedophiles exist and they were deceiving many of us. And uh, now they need to be brought to justice. Okay, crime stoppers, uh, e pluribus unum, do your research, understand what comes, because it's coming. It is absolutely coming. Uh, be prepared for what comes. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Wake up others, right? Educate self, educate others. E pluribus unum.